Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Hey, I got the movie straightened out. <laughs> oh, it was kind of a long story. I thought there was some double downloads, but in this camera, if you take the videos over 10 minutes, it splits them into two. So I guess we're back to 10 minutes at a time, baby, and three minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> Hey, that's a long time for you. I heard you was the 32nd man myself. <laughs> but hey, guys, I got the fuselage clear coated. And look at that bad boy shine. My buddy Kenny made me some uh, paint mask stencils, you know, for the Navy and my numbers. And man, they came out good. That's just smooth. It's yellow and it's shiny, baby. And it looks pretty. Got all my stickers on it. Oh, I still got a little bit. I got to clear coat my wings. These are both set up now. These came out pretty good. Got a little bit of a wrinkle on the bottom where that plastic wrinkled up, but I'll hit them with the dot coat. I mean, my uh, orbital sander. But they came out pretty good. I'll make me some nice gear doors out of that stuff. I just want to let them. I had them in the house and it's kind of cool in there. Just want to let them set up all night before I do anything to that. And I've been digging for fuel cells. Check it out. And now I'm not going to put smoke on this. That's all going to be turbine fuel. Got a gallon jug. And these two, courtesy of my buddy Bill, them came out of his F-100. Remember the other two tanks we put in the Cougar? And look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is probably a third of a gallon each. So that's dang near two gallons of fuel. That's going to get 15 minutes of flying. <laughs> that's what I want to do with this. I want to take this up and pass around a transmitter and let all my buddies fly it. And get a bunch of flights on it and touch and goes and just have a good old time with this jet baby because it's going to fly like a boomerang you guys know that don't you with a P200 in it <laughs> but uh just wanted to know you guys been jonesing to see it so there is the Pinto and it's painting but you're going to have to show John this video this thing looked like it was pulled out of a garage, been sitting in a garage for 10 years. It had so much dust and dirt and grime on it. Just looked like one of them old basket cases. And here it is, bring it home and bam, brand new jet sitting there, baby. <laughs> That's what you can do. A couple nights till four in the morning, just a few days, and bam, it's done, baby. But I'll make you some more videos. I'm going to get this thing finished up tomorrow. Get this shop all cleaned up. And uh, get the Thunder Chief back out here. Still waiting for my valves. All he said he was going to send them in the last week. Them high flow Jetronic valves ain't showed up yet. Kind of waiting on them. But that's why I was going to hurry, wanting to hurry and get this painted. So it'll be done. I can get other stuff out here to work on too, you know. Because uh, I got to roll. You know I got to get back on them Thunder Chiefs. And uh, get back to work and quit loafing. Butch. <laughs> we'll see you guys back at the shop. 